I've known Marcy Carsey since the mid-1970s, and I've been her partner at Carsey Werner since 1981. Marcy is the most important person in my life. She is not only one of my best friends, but an extraordinary partner, an even better role model, one of the, the great people I've ever met. Smart, funny, sensitive, and grounded. When we did the Cosby Show, and I think it was also reflected in other shows that we did, we often heard from the viewer, how did you get into our house? How did you find that particular situation and, and tell a story that seemed so much about my own life? And Marcy brought that honest, grounded perspective into all the stories that we did. The reason Marcy and I connected was because I always told her she was right. The really interesting thing about Marcy is, in all these years, and for all her success, she hasn't changed very much. And the words, it may be cliche, but the words that come to mind are down to earth. Marcy is the most grounded, down to earth person I've ever known. It has never changed. She is thoughtful, she is generous, she's devoted to family and friends. Marcy and I met in 1967. Marcy had just graduated from the University of New Hampshire, and I was in college in New York. And we were both guidettes at NBC. It was a very madman kind of environment. So Marcy and I gave tours at NBC, over and over and over. The same tour through the studios, and at that time, the radio studios. We were guidettes for a short while, and then Marcy was hired in a very important job answering fan mail on The Tonight Show. And a couple of weeks later, she called and said, there's another job. So she and I moved up to The Tonight Show, and we had a big shared desk. We sat and stared at each other and answered fan mail. It was a time, for those of you old enough to remember, when Johnny Carson went on strike. And the whole staff walked out with him. The only two people left were me and Marcy. Jimmy Dean was brought in to host the show, and Marcy and I were basically running the show because no one else was there. It was kind of a fun time. Uh, Jimmy Dean liked Marcy a lot, and if things had been different, she might have been the queen of morning sausage. I went to see an uncle who was an executive in NBC and said to him, I would really like to do programming, television programming. And he said, there has never been a woman in programming, and there never will be. So I went to law school. Marcy, however, not many years later, was the head of programming for ABC. And that's, again, typical of Marcy. You decide to do something, you don't listen to the naysayers, you don't second guess, you don't question, you just do it, and you do it better than anybody else. Marcy's understated. And so uh, I know she's extraordinarily generous, but she would prefer to have that be under the radar. And that's kind of why I love her so much. She's so grounded and she'd rather point the spotlight at somebody else. And in that way, uh, this award is, is, is terrific because it honors somebody who really embodies some of the great values of, of UNH. The award is well deserved. Um, I think the University of New Hampshire is uh, fortunate to have had Marcy and I know about her feelings about the university. It is a great honor and I congratulate Marcy. So congratulations Marcy on winning the Hubbard Award. Frankly I thought you were going to win it earlier but as I've said to you I miss you. I'm thinking about you every day. Mm -hmm.